Hey there guys, and all you Sims 3 fans, welcome to my Sims 3 channel, my name is Robbie, and I'm focusing this video on mastering your cooking skill. There are a bunch of ways that you can master your cooking skill, but with this video, I'm going to focus on how to master your cooking skill at home without using books. And as you can see, I've already got some stuff set up for a well, it's going to be an outdoor kitchen just for the purpose of the video. And I've got a TV with a bench sitting out to watch the TV if I so choose, which is going to be an option that I'm going to show you here to help with cooking. Down here in the bottom, in these tabs down here, as you can see, I'm in the skills tab and I have no skills right now. And as I said, I'm going to show you how to maximize your cooking skill without using books. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the world map and doing so I hit the M button to open up the world map. And I'm going to move around the lot or the world here and find, actually I believe there's a diner close by the house. Right here, this Fly and V's coffee house. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to start off with the, the option you see here. You can attend a cooking class for 400 simoleons. We're going to do so. I'm going to right click on my sim down here at the bottom to center on my sim and at the same time cause the screen to follow my sim as we travel to that diner. I'm going to have the game running at fast speed in order to show you how to master your cooking skill quicker without using books. So we're going to unpause the game and we're going off to the diner. I'm going to pause the game now that I'm at the diner. And up top left here in the action queue, you see that there is a bar below the action attend cooking. And that bar indicates how much of the cooking class you have attended. And I unpause the game and you see that the bar is filling up now. And now that that cooking class is complete, you can see down here in the skills tab, it allowed me to reach level one in the cooking skill. So now we're going to go back to our home lot by clicking this button right here saying click to go home. And we're going to go home and now that we have as you can see the level one cooking skill this is where the TV will come in handy as far as for helping you increase your cooking skill. I'm going to click on that TV I'm going to turn it on, then I'm going to click it again and watch TV. I'm going to unpause the game for a second, and then pause it again now that we're starting to watch it, and click the TV again, and select change to, and we're going to select cooking cable. Then we're going to unpause the game, and you can see from watching that cooking channel on the TV, my cooking skill, if you see here I have a meter above my head now, and my cooking skill is increasing from watching that cooking channel. If you hover down here, you see the pop-up showing that the bar is filling up for level one, almost to level two cooking, all just from watching TV. I'm gonna pause the game for a second. Then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna show you now down here in the cooking skill, I'm at level two and to the right of that bars is a button for skill journal. I'm going to open the skill journal just to give you an idea of what it looks like and everything by clicking that button or you could hit the J button and you'll see that it brings up the skill journal for that particular skill whichever skill it was next to when you click and you see that it gives a description of the cooking skill and it has statistics down here for the cooking skill and then below that you have the cooking skill challenges and I'll talk more about those challenges in a different video and then below that it'll show what recipes you know in the first column it indicates what level 
you can cook these recipes at and then right beside that it tells what the recipe is and the quality of that recipe and what ingredients are needed to make that recipe and you scroll down and you see that there's some that you have to be a level one to, in order to cook them and you got some you got to be level two to cook them. and this is all something that I will talk about in a different video I'm just giving you a bird's eye view of it right now and as your cooking skill increases in level your known recipes will become you'll learn more recipes as your cooking skill level increases is what I was trying to say and those recipes I'll talk about those in another video as well we're going to close that out now and we're going to click on the stove here and this is something with the cooking skill whether you're at level zero with no skill showing like I was a second ago or you're at level two like we are now you can start by increasing your cook yield just by cooking something also so what I'm going to do is click serve or quick click serve dinner and I'm going to select I'm going to say the max then we're going to unpause the game and as you see I'm preparing this food to cook and in doing so my cooking skill is increased and as you see that dish has been prepared and I'm almost to level three in the cooking so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the stove again I'm going to click serve dinner and we're going to do this goopy carbonara carbonara then unpause the game we're going to go prepare that for make and the same thing applies with that you're gaining your cooking skill by preparing it and cooking and that that meal is complete I am now at level three in the cooking skill so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the stove again and serve dinner well actually let me check on this have dinner it's got the same option so we'll go back to serve dinner and I'm going to fill the action queue up with a variety of the two dishes I know how to make right now. and the action queue is full you're allowed to queue up up to eight actions in the action I'm going to unpause the game we're going to go through and make these dishes to help increase your cook and as you see preparing these meals and cooking them is increased your cook and of course we're making quite a mess while doing this but that is all right so I'm just showing you how to master your cooking skill without using book and while we're doing all this cooking here I'm going to mention down in the description of this video you'll find a find link direct link to buy the sims 3 game and the expansion packs and the stuff pack let's say you happen to want to get started in playing the sims 3 there's a direct link down in the description where you can do so and buy the game from amazon or if you need to expand your library you can purchase the expansion packs and stuff packs from the direct link in the description below from amazon and now that that eight cooking action have been completed we see now I'm at cooking level 5 and now I'm going to show you another way that you can work we'll zoom into this one there's some grills we're going to go over to this park instead and at this park as you can see there's two grills here I'm going to click on one of them and if you notice down here at the bottom it is 9.42 in the morning in the game, so it's pretty. It's breakfast time. So you have the option to serve breakfast. So I'm going to do the same thing I did at home, alternate between these two dishes to prepare the filling up the act and unpause the game. And you'll see even at the park using a grill that you don't own, you can increase your cooking skill and master your cooking skill using that grill so you don't actually have to be at home to earn your cooking skill without using books you can do so at a park or at the beach or the lake or wherever you might happen to be at and if you see there in the messages up here it says that I burnt the meal I was cooking and after doing all that cooking on the grill you can see I'm almost to level so we'll click this option to go back home and then go back over here and 
we're gonna see now that we have more well actually let me click the stove we have more up uh, since our cooking level is higher we can now have dessert but as you see oh right now I don't have any counter space so we'll check over here okay we'll have to clean the counters up okay let me go to the buy mode and put a sink in real quick we'll get this one right here must be against the wall okay so what i'll do here i'll set that down here on the ground and we'll get that sink instead okay so with that there we go that one will work then we'll select to clean all this stuff up so that we have more counter space if you see there this dish is horrifying quality that one was bad quality bad quality foul quality normal quality and we'll unpause the game and go clean all this mess up we'll get this one and clean it up and now we have some counter space to work with we'll go back to the stove here and we'll select to serve dessert pumpkin pie and we'll go to serve dinner mac and cheese and as you see here i can now make more dishes than i could before and you also have the option to make pet food which at the same time should help to increase your cookie oil as well we'll pause the game for a second I'm going to hover over this pumpkin pie and you'll see that it says nice quality and if you remember I now am at level 6 in the cooking skill as your cooking skill increases your food quality that you cook will increase along with and I also want to say I'm hoping that this video is helping you and giving you some value in mastering your cooking skill and you're more than welcome to hit that little icon in the bottom right corner of the video to subscribe to my channel and when you do be sure to turn your notifications on so that you know when I upload new videos and I hope that you'll take the time to check out the other videos I have uploaded so far and get some value from them as well and you can see we're almost at level 7 I'm just over halfway to it in the cooking skill and now that that is all finished there we're going to go back through here and if you see that one is of normal quality and you see that that quality of that pumpkin pie has decreased because it has spoiled now from sitting there just like anything in real life would do you let it sit for too long it will go bad clean all that stuff up and we're going to go over here and watch tv again check to make sure it's on the cooking channel and you can see the meter above my head is indicating that my cooking skill is increasing and also like i mentioned before in the skill journal as your cooking skill increases the recipes known is also increased as you can see that there are more recipes appearing in the recipes that i know and it appears that some of the pet food i made wound up going into my inventory although you can master your cooking deal with the tv it does take quite some time to do so so what i'll do is go over here to the fridge and you see now i have a lot more food showing that i'm able to prepare so we'll go through and select each one here as you can see some of them i'm not able to as it needs a specific appliance to prepare it and if you see the numbers beside some of these that indicates i don't have all the ingredients in the fridge for that and it's going to purchase those items automatically where you don't actually have to go to the store to buy those items i guess it canceled those other items because of the time you see that i am now at level seven almost to level eight and now it's time for lunch and the more stuff you cook the more skill level you gain with the cooking skill and as you notice i'm trying to keep this stuff cleaned up as we go so i have counter space therefore allowing us to continue mastering 
the cooking skill. And you now see that I'm on my way to getting level 9. I just hit level 8. And another note on your cook, the longer it takes to prepare and cook the food, the better chance you have of earning more cooking skill while preparing that dish. And I now have a new dessert available. And as you can see, the cooking skill is a very handy skill for your sim to have. And it, I also want to mention that it's a very good skill for earning simoleons for your sim as well. But that will be discussed in another video. Now we'll continue fill in the action cue up to help master my cooking skill. And you see now that I am level 9 in the cooking skill. Perhaps the zombie might want something to eat. You never know. We'll go through and clean all this stuff up. Seeing as how we kind of got interrupted by the zombie. Well, since the scene broke, I'm going to select the put away leftovers. And we'll go back and queue up some more cooking it appears the zombies are just running wild, but we're not going to let that ruin our objective of mastering the cooking skill. And if you see there, this dish is a very nice, and it looks like most of the dishes are now. There are some that are still going bad because of sitting out. We'll pause the game and line up some more cooking. And you see here now that we're at level nine and a half almost ten so our cooking skill is almost masked and the meter above our head continues to fill up for that level which is also the final level and that is the case with all the skills there are only ten levels in any skill for you mask we'll pause the game now we got to clean out the bad food from the refrigerator and we're going to go over here and put away this other food that's on the counter, free up counter, and pause the game. And we're going to see now breakfast has French toast that I can prepare. And dessert. We'll do some gourmet pet food. As I mentioned earlier before, the pet food helps with your cooking skill as well because you're actually preparing food. I guess I sat there and got sick and stopped what I was doing. We'll move this stuff down to the ground to put it out of the way, keep the counter space empty. And you see now that that meter is gone and I now have mastered the cooking skill. And going to the skill journal for the cooking skill, in the process of mastering the cooking skill, without using book, you've managed to complete two cooking skill challenge. You got the star chef, you prepare, prepared at least 50 meals and their dishes are more pleasing to those that eat. And then you got the mini Marvin that you accomplished by learning how to prepare 28 recipes. The menu Marvin prepares higher quality food. And as I said, the challenges, I'll get more into those in another video. And you see in the statistics, it's talking about your highest quality meal, the meal you prepared the most of, how many recipes you prepared, what percentage of recipes in the game you know. And down below, you'll see the recipes that you know. And as I said, that's stuff that I'll get into in another video. Now that your cooking skill has been mastered and you have done so without using book, I hope that this video has inspired you to try various ways to master your cooking skill and given you an idea of how you can master it without book. And I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button down in the bottom right corner of the video and check out my other videos as well and i hope to see you with the next video and thank you for watching and thank you for visiting my channel